Unit 4 Travel and Tourism Reading A The Eyes Have It I had the train compartment to myself up to Ruhana. Then a girl got in. The couple who saw her off were probably her parents. They seemed very anxious about her comfort and the woman gave the girl detailed instructions as to where to keep her things, when not to lean out of windows and how to avoid speaking to strangers. They called their goodbyes and the train pulled out of the station. As I was totally blind at the time, my eyes sensitive only to light and darkness, I was unable to tell what the girl looked like. But I knew she wore slippers from the way they slapped against her heels. It would take me some time to discover something about her looks and perhaps I never would. But I liked the sound of her voice and even the sound of her slippers. Are you going all the way to Dehra? I asked. I must have been sitting in a dark corner because my voice startled her. She gave a little exclamation and said, I didn't know anyone else was here. Well, it often happens that people with good eyesight fail to see what is right in front of them. They have too much to take in, I suppose. Whereas people who cannot see or see very little have to take in only the essentials, whatever registers tellingly on their remaining senses. I didn't see you either, I said, but I heard you come in. I wondered if I would be able to prevent her from discovering that I was blind. Provided I keep to my seat, I thought it shouldn't be too difficult. The girl said, I'm getting off at Saharanpur. My aunt is meeting me there. Then I had better not get too familiar, I thought. Aunts are usually formidable creatures. Where are you going? She asked. To Dehra and then to Masuri. Oh, how lucky you are. I wish I were going to Masuri. I love the hills, especially in October. Yes, this is the best time, I said, calling on my memories. The hills are covered with wild dahlias. The sun is delicious and at night you can sit in front of a log fire and drink a little brandy. Most of the tourists have gone and the roads are quiet and almost deserted. Yes, October is the best time. She was silent. I wondered if my words had touched her or whether she thought me a romantic fool. Then I made a mistake. What is it like outside? I asked. She seemed to find nothing strange in the question. Had she noticed already that I could not see? But her next question removed my doubts. Why don't you look out of the window? She asked. I moved easily along the berth and felt for the window ledge. The window was open and I faced it, making a pretense of studying the landscape. I heard the panting of the engine, the rumble of the wheels and in my mind's eye I could see telegraph posts flashing by. Have you noticed, I ventured, that the trees seem to be moving while we seem to be standing still? That always happens, she said. Do you see any animals? No, I answered quite confidently. I knew that there were hardly any animals left in the forests near Dehra.